Welcome back to the channel. Today we are finishing the final episode of the three part series for Bayard's Revenge. Part one we made the space diorama, which I'm going to link here. Part two we painted Bayard, which is here. And today we're combining the two and we're going to see how it ended up looking. Today it's going to be a bit more of like a ramble. I'm going to tell you about my projects I've got coming up in future videos whilst I show you how I did Bayard's Revenge. So it's going to be a bit of a shorter video, but I'm going to show a few sneak peeks on what I'm currently working on and uh, we're going to go from there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So all I'm doing here is I'm looking at the model, trying to figure out the best place to position this on the base. I'm going to be using Milliput, which is a two-part component, which uh, is almost like green stuff. Um, so I'm going to be mixing that together with my fingers and then uh, rolling it into these like sausage shape like sh strands just on the table using my hands. Uh, and then I'm just going to be applying it around the base using a silicone tool which I bought off Amazon for like £1.50 for a set of five. I'll link them down below if you want to buy yourself um, and it's great for sculpting or anything like this or basing in general. I'm going to be putting the tip in water and that's just going to make it easier to work with this milli put around the base. All I'm doing is using the tool to smoothen out the edges to make it look more natural on the base and going back to the water every now and again to make it easier to do so. I had a spare goblin from the Age of Sigma Squig Mangler set and I thought it looked quite cool. It would kind of picture the scene that this guy is escaping for his life whilst watching his captain kind of get skewered by Bayard. I think it kind of tells that story in the diorama and I think it looks quite good. I'm an idiot. I should have painted this before sticking it to the base but well, we've come this far now so we may as well continue. <laughs> Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use Troll Slayer Orange and add some red, some black, browns and try and get it to the same colour as the base as I did previously. If you want to see how I made the base, you can check it out in uh, the Space Diorama Part 1 episode. So I had a spare spear from the Stormcast Eternal set which I bought when I first started painting and I thought if I broke the tip off and, and attached a Space Marine's head to it I think I could add it to the base and make it look a bit like the Orcs were winning this battle to start with but our Bayard's come back to claim it back for himself. So that's what we're going to do, we're going to add it to the base. And then what we're going to do, we're going to start highlighting the space base again to uh, kind of bring the vibrancy back up and edge highlight it a bit to make it a little bit more pronounced. And this is what it ended up looking like. And here are a few projects that I'm currently working on. Some of these I plan on potentially entering into Golden Demon, not this year, but next, as I'm simply not good enough right now, but that's the goal, sometime in the future. But for half of these I plan on doing big projects, big dioramas, something I've never done before and just trying to push myself. And uh, I hope you stick around to see them in the future. I have recently started a Patreon if you guys want to check it out. In that Patreon you'll be able to join me in my own Discord. We can talk about anything hobby, painting, base making, drama making, sculpting, or even just talk about our favourite things we do outside of the hobby like gaming or sports or anything. It's the best place to talk to me and I'm always active in there. Following me on Patreon will be the best way to support me. Any money made through my Patreon is going to be invested back into my YouTube channel. Whether the videos are going to have better projects or the equipment I use is going to be upgraded so the quality of videos is better and I really hope you check it out. Thank you so much for watching guys. As always, drop a subscribe. Drop a subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like. 
leave a comment, I always reply, and uh, share it with some friends. I've got some big plans coming soon, so you want to stick around and see what I'm doing. It's taken me ages, but it's so going to be worth it, and you're going to love it. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one.